You know, even at the peak of my career, I have 31 years with the company and I'm in what can arguably uh, is the final years of my career, even at the pinnacle of my career, I am dancing backwards in high heels, just like all of you are. Doing the same thing a man does every day, and then some. In my field, with a mechanical engineering background, I've had the opportunity to work on engine emissions and be part of a 20-some year journey to bring diesel engine emissions down by 96%. Uh, very clean those engines today and I feel like I'm doing something, have done something good for the environment uh, and good for, good for future generations. I enjoy being a leader for people at my company. I want to be the kind of vice president that other people want to work for and I want to leave a legacy in the people that have the opportunity to work in our division. Uh, many of us in, in the breakfast line in this morning and even a little bit last night, we talked about how underrepresented women are in STEM, and Lisa gave us some really great statistics there. Uh, and it's really a shame because the whole idea of a college education, unless you're independent wealth, independently wealthy, which most of us are not, uh, the whole idea of a college education is to get out and get a job, and these STEM jobs are really great jobs. They make good paychecks and help us make a better life for our families. So what I'd like to leave with you today is seven steps seven dance steps that you can learn to dance on your own glass ceiling. So I think a healthy exercise is to think about what your own personal mission is, what does your glass ceiling look like, and what does it feel like to dance there. Define that personal mission. Uh, it's why you work, why you work outside the home, you know, and what, giving back to your family, and it's why you work in this field. That's your personal mission. Did you notice how my mission blended together my work and my personal? It wasn't like, here's my work mission and here's my personal mission. It really kind of blended together my work and personal. If you do that and it helps to portray a picture of a future version of you dancing on that glass ceiling as a whole person, and then you can take the steps dance steps day, to, day by day to help you get there. That, that's when I think you can be most successful as you look at it as a whole person. What I'd like you to do as you have your own personal mission, and once you do get to there, whatever there is for you, and if you're young, you've got a long way to go, uh, when you get to there or even as you get you know, little steps and you feel you're making some progress, don't forget to turn around and help the next one in line, even if it's a grade school student. Turn around and help the next one in line. Give back. Thank you.